So good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm leaving uh, the, the Africa Agri Food Forum 2024 tomorrow. So here, I would like to give some reflections on my uh, participation for the last few days. So you see, this is really uh, interesting uh, forum. This is my first participation of this Africa uh, Food System Forum, organized by Accra and hosted by Rwanda. Uh, I really uh, thank Accra and uh, the host country for organizing this interesting event for my first participation because I met many people, interesting people, colleagues and friends, but more importantly, River had a very good overview about the food system um, this, of this continent where we need a very uh, a good approach to transform this food system. So we talked a lot about food systems and you know the understanding of this food system approach varies from one person to another. But you can see that is a, it means that's the system of food. And when the people talked about system, it means that it contains many things. It uh, embraces really from the production, uh, you know, processing, consumption, and so on. You see? But it also includes the economics, the social aspects, the environmental aspect, but also the political aspect of food that we are consuming. So the objective of this conference is really to, the theme of the conference is really to uh, uh, innovate, uh, accelerate, and scale the transformation of food systems. And actually, we have very nice uh, participation of uh, different people. Uh, the topic is very relevant because actually, uh, we have a lot of people who are hungry globally, but also in particular in Africa. 800 million people are hungry every day when they go to bed. And you imagine that around 300 million people are in Africa, the biggest prevalence of uh, hung, uh, hunger here in, in this continent. And uh, as someone working for the CGI uh, INRI, International Livestock Research Institute, our group coming here to discuss and to make the case for the investment in livestock development in low and middle income countries. And why livestock? Because actually, you know, 1.8 billion people in this world realize their livelihood generation on livestock. And most of them are small holder located in developing countries, in particular here in, in Africa. And actually, uh, 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 livestock can offer a lot of opportunities for people, in particular the nutrition and food security. In this continent, many people don't have enough access to eat the animal source food, meaning milk, meat, and egg. So we need to develop more to help them to have this interesting and nutritious food for their development. And this is also the objective of our organization, working with partners to promote the development of livestock. OK, so what do I see or what did I see here for the last few days? I see that, you know, there are many uh, big sessions, you know, uh, plenary session, parallel session, and obviously we cannot go on to these uh, uh, sessions. But I see uh, in most of the discussion I, I, I had with people, I see a big commitment of different uh, stakeholders and actors to transform food system in Africa. You know, many ministers were here, researchers, you know, development partners, you know, financing people, but also uh, agriculture ministries, uh, farmers representation, uh, youth people, they are all here to talk about uh, food system transformation in Africa. So a big commitment of people to, to, to do that. So, but how to do that? We need tools and approach and resource to do that. So it looks like that from the discussion, we see that, you know, uh, we have many innovations existing already. So we need to take this innovation to scale, to solve the problem, to transform the food uh, system here in Africa, but we need also more innovation. So we, we need to use what is already working, so we promote the scaling, but we need also to create and do research to have more approach, more innovation to transform food system in Africa and use this in a significant way with investment of different partners and people. I realize also that, you know, um, the equity aspect was particularly pay and uh, uh, got a lot of uh, attention in this uh, conference. Uh, usually you go to a conference, you see many researchers, you know, uh, business people. And here I see uh, many women, many uh, 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 young people, uh, also private sectors, enterprise uh, representatives are here to discuss food system transformation. 
We, of course, as a researcher working for research institution, it's very, inter very interesting to interact with on these people. I saw an innovation of this conference also that in, you know, you know, they mobilized also many people from private sectors and also they organized kind of you know, discussion and you know, a shocking case for people who have bright ideas to present to bid for money. So they have uh, a different kind of you know, investors there asking questions on how, how enterprise, in particular young people, come up with business model to develop uh, 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 you know, food production, you know, trading food, uh, and all these things contribute to the food system approach and food system uh, tran transformation. So that is very important. Uh, let me say a few words about our discussion here linked to our own work. So I already said that you know, livestock is an uh, important uh, 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 component of agriculture. Uh, you know, uh, 1.8 billion people rely on the livelihood. And at the country level, in particular in Africa, livestock contribute to around 40% of agriculture GDP. For some countries, it goes up to 80%. And this is very important. And most of them are coming from smallholder uh, production. So our colleague from INRI, from CGA, uh, attended different sessions promoting the research on livestock, but also in particular represent, uh, presenting the innovation, the solution, how to transform livestock system within the food system, agriculture system in the African context. You know, it can uh, have the solution to address the climate change aspect, but also the solution to address the animal health, people, uh, health and the ecosystem. So that's about one health approach that I'm working for, looking at the health, uh, at the intersection of animal people and the environment. So we need different people uh, to work together. We talked about one thousand role of livestock for nutrition. I already said that, you know, from the beginning, people in Africa, many people need to have uh, uh, access to animal source food for their diet, for their nutrition, for their growth. And, and so on, in particular for women and children, that is uh, uh, very important. And our colleagues from CGI, obviously, they work beyond livestock, so we have many centers working on crops, working on water, on environment, on gender, and all these discussions are really interesting and important for uh, uh, the discussion of food system transformation here in this Africa uh, Food Transformation uh, Forum. So uh, finally, I just want to say that, you know, I was very happy to meet many friends and colleagues and in particular learn uh, the new thing and meeting also new people from research, uh, from the investment world, uh, from the governments of uh, Africa. So this is very interesting to establish all this contact we will follow up uh, for our work. And um, INRI this year celebrating 50 years uh, uh, in uh, Africa but also at global level. So uh, this forum offers us a very good opportunity to meet many partners who have been working with INRI, but also uh, we had an event to meet our alumni uh, from Africa attending this conference. It's very interesting to see and witness all this experience and story of these people with INRI in the past, and we continue keeping uh, 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 contact with them to work for better livestock. We also uh, uh, have the opportunity to have a meeting with the investor to explore the opportunity to invest more in livestock uh, research in Africa in particular. Uh, so, so that is very interesting for us from the institutional level when attending uh, this conference. So uh, in short, I think that you know, um, I had very good time for the last uh, few days here in uh, Kagili in Rwanda, my first visit to this country, very interesting country, but I hope to have more time next time to visit a bit outside. Uh, on the insight and information we got from this forum is very important for our work and I'm leaving Kigali with a big hope that, you know, the food system in Africa uh, will be transformed more rapidly. So we it look like that this forum have every year, so we, we talked a lot about that, but uh, the progress seemed to be slow. So I'm leaving with big hope that, you know, more actions will be done to help Africa to transform the food systems and many people and every people in the best way of Africa will have access to good food and in particular nutritious and safe food for their growth, for their life. And, you know, I'm living with very uh, positive uh, feeling and positive impression of this conference, of this forum, and see you next time. Thank you very much.